uh, talking to Robbie Leonard this week about your growth, and he said one thing he thinks that's changed a little is you're playing with more violence. Mm. Was that in terms of hand chops, motions? Is that something that you made a conscious decision to do? What, what's led to that evolution? Yeah, um, you know, Robbie and I always talking about marrying the violence of my feet with the violence of my hands, and that's something where at the beginning of the year, you know, I'm, I'm good at running, I'm fast, and so, uh, you know, I've always been violent with my feet, but now I'm kind of learning how to really use my hands because, you know, at this level, you really need to be elite and precise with your hands. Um, so, yeah, just continuously trying to improve, and him and I work a lot together. It was a, a third down play in the uh, Ravens game where you dropped back into coverage, and Lamar took off towards the right. You chased him down. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about that play. And did you did you know the whole time you were going to get him? Uh, I mean, I told you guys last week I was going to be running a lot, so <laughs> I guess that was true. Um, but no, we uh, you know I popped out. Uh, you know, was was reading, obviously waiting for him to kind of throw a little check down. And once I saw him start scrambling, and I was on my horse, um, so I, I knew I had him in my line of sight. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about. I, I know you guys. I don't mean, I know you call it something different than the amoeba package. Most people know it's the amoeba package where the, the, the rushers and the edges and the safeties, you are all up at the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Does your assignment, is it based on what the offensive lineman in front of you does? No, I can't give away. That's the secrets of the trade right there. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, what I, what I can say is that, you know, having a six up look like that uh, kind of lets us dictate, you know, kind of how we want to play the game, kind of lets us put a lot of pressure uh, on the quarterbacks. So, yeah, I'm not going to give away the secrets to, to what I'm doing, but that's just, you know, it's a, it's a great scheme, great scheme. Well, you guys have incorporated the safety blitz. How much does that change things for an edge rusher where maybe guys on the offensive line blockers or, you know, have more guys to look out for that might be coming in? So opening things up possibly. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's getting the sack or who's getting the pressure. It just matters that we're getting it as a defense. Um, so I think, you know, having different looks, having different schemes uh, kind of keeps the opposing offense on their toes, uh, allows us to kind of, you know, do a lot more. I think, I can double check this stuff, but I think you're second in the NFL working pressures. Mm -hmm. and so there's been an increase in pressures. What do you think has led to the, inc the jump in pressures for you? Um, just being tenacious, just getting after the quarterback. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, sacks are kind of flashy stats. Uh, I think what's more important is to have an impact uh, on the game and have, you know, put pressure on the quarterback. And, and that's just what I try to do. Uh, I try to execute the best that I can within our scheme. Uh, and I think that it's just kind of, you know, everything's kind of coming together. Uh, you know, all the hard work that we've been putting in and uh, trying to just getting more comfortable as a team uh, with each other uh, and just with the game plan and everything. So. Jalen, it seems like over the last couple of weeks, you guys have made so many plays where guys are chasing after the football and just following the ball and making a big play. You had the one against the Texans with Tyrod Taylor's interception mm -hmm. and Jerome. Is there kind of a mantra in the defensive room about flying to the football? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's that's the first thing. You have to give phenomenal effort. You know, it's, it's a life decision is what the coaches always say. It's like, you know, that there's a lot of things you can't control in this game, but one thing you can control is your effort. Uh, and so for me, you know, I've always kind of hung my hat ever since high school, really, uh, on being a guy who's, you know, going to give my all, going to give 100% effort and going to be chasing after the ball. Um, so, you know, it's important to get 11 guys uh, to the ball. You never want to have guys out of the picture, you know, at the end of the, at the, end of the snap. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that's of importance to us, and we're going to keep doing I'll follow up. Uh, Michael Carter, you played against him in college. What, are, what do you see on tape from him? Uh, he's just a really, he's a raw running back, um, and he's just really powerful. Um, he does not like to get tackled. Uh, he runs through a lot of tackles and uh, just keeps his legs training. So, I mean, yeah, obviously played him last year, uh, last game of the regular season. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, he's a good back. Subject there. You said what? I said they're to bring up a sore subject there. I know how that game went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the past. <laughs> Can't linger too much on that. Played for Maddie. You've been around that organization. I don't know if you're on this special UM alum chain of people who are discussing you. I've only been there one year, so mm -hmm. I don't know if you applied. Um, are you concerned about the direction that things are headed there? Uh, you know, I'm, I will always, uh, to the day I die, be a huge proponent for Manny Diaz uh, and really the whole entire staff at Miami, uh, Feely, you know, everybody there. You know, I think, you know, 
obviously we haven't had, you know, for the last couple of seasons, really last decade, um, you know, the results haven't been exactly what, you know, the fans or the school or the program really want. But I think more importantly, Manny has developed a culture at the U. Um, and even like this year, you can see, you know, a lot of the young guys coming in and making an impact and just having excitement and love for the game. Uh, and so I think that's something that uh, you really can't take for granted. Um, and so, you know, I love Manny uh, and I think he's a great coach. I think he's really talented and really smart and cares a lot about what he does and about his players. So, you know, wherever the, the chips may fall, uh, it's going to be what it is. But regardless, uh, you know, Manny is going to stay steadfast and he's going to keep doing his thing. What were your interactions like with uh, Blake James, the athletic director, that now uh, won't, won't be there anymore? Uh, I mean, he's not there anymore. So, um, but you know, Blake uh, was good to me when I came in. Um, you know, I think he's a great guy as well. Uh, you know, I, I don't think you know football success or success on and off the field, whatever, doesn't really uh, determine you know how good of a man you are. So, Blake James, great person. Um, but you know, I think that they're just looking to uphold the standard of what the U is. Um, and so, you know, I'm all for making changes and you know, doing what the, they think they need to do uh, to improve. I wanted to uh, ask you about Xavier Howard, who was in your opinions, who was, you know, AFC defensive player of the week. Just um, when you have a player with his coverage skills at the cornerback position, mm -hmm. how does that help you and the other rushers? Yeah, I mean, if, if the corners and safeties are covering, then we have more time to get after the quarterback. And so it's really kind of a symbiotic relationship. You know, we if we don't rush well enough, then they're in coverage too long. And, you know, obviously, eventually somebody's going to get open uh, and, you know, vice versa. If they don't cover well enough, then we might, might not be able to get to the quarterback. Um, so I think we've done a good job of working together. Um, but yeah, PP, you know, Xavier and really our whole entire secondary, they've been doing an amazing job uh, covering for us, putting pressure on the quarterback when they rush, doing everything like that. This is the big old show.